Well, it's Friday. I know that we all look forward to Friday because if we've been working all week, that this is the day that when we get off work today, then we can begin to relax and enjoy a great weekend. One of the best ways you can make the most out of your weekend is to be in the house of God. I don't mean be watching the house of God or listening to your favorite podcast or listening to Christian worship music. I mean being in the house of God. If you are in the Coachella Valley, we want to invite you to the Journey Baptist Church in Palm Desert. We would love to have you join us this Sunday morning. If you're not, you can tune in online, but I would encourage you to find a local church that you can actually get in with the congregation. If you're a part of the Journey Baptist Church, get back to church. We miss you. Uh, we would love to have you this Sunday morning. Well, let's take our Bibles to Hebrews chapter number 10 uh, for promise number 308. Promise number 308 is found in Hebrews 10, 22. A couple of verses before the verses that I like to, to let people know about. Uh, those are the ones that deal with that we aren't supposed to be forsaking being a part of a church family and being present in the house of God. Those are the later verses. But then there's a personal responsibility verse here about our own selves, our own relationship with God. And I think that when our own relationship with God suffers, our church connectedness suffers when our relationship with God is actually growing healthy and then we will want to be in the house of God and so listen Hebrews 10 22 says says this it says let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water we want to draw near uh, not only to the lord but to each other in fact as much as this is a promise that god will cleanse all those who draw near it's an even bigger it's even bigger for those who think that god is keeping a ledger of our failures even after we're saved. See, I think that a lot of people, even after they're saved, still have a warped view of God as if he's some sort of a judge looking forward to the moment when you get that third strike so he can throw the book at you. Well, that's just not true. God is a loving God. He says, draw near with a full, true heart of assurance and faith, having, having your heart sprinkled. I want to wash you. I want to keep you clean from that evil conscience. That evil conscience is that thing that's playing in the back of our minds and you're not good enough. You blew it again. God doesn't want you. He wants to sprinkle us clear of all of that sin and even sinful thinking about God. And he wants to wash our bodies. That's the actual sin out outflow. That's the the stuff that needs to be washed by the Lord with pure. He wants to wash us. He wants to clean us up. Uh, he wants to make our lives new again. He wants to have us enjoy the life that he saved us to enjoy. Maybe if you're not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ today, you've never experienced the life that he wants for you. And so if you would surrender to him today, he said, if you'll draw near, if you'll call on me, I'll change your life. He wants you to draw near with a, with a true heart, meaning I actually believe you're real and I actually want you to intervene in my life. See, most of us are afraid if he intervenes, he'll mess with the stuff we want most. But the truth is, is if he intervenes, he'll show you what those things that we thought we love most were doing to us. And he'll draw us away from them so that we're not hurt by them anymore. There are so many people walking around just beaten up by this world's claims to just joy living. And, and really all they are is just a joy ride that always ends up in a massive wreck. And God doesn't want you to end up in a massive wreck. He wants you to be with him. He wants to change your life. And so I urge you to draw near to the Lord. And as you draw near to the Lord, he'll draw you near to a church family. Think about it. this promise blows all of those weird views about God. In, it blows them into pieces. If we will honestly draw near to God, he will wash all that away, including that guilty conscience that is hounding us all the time. Sure, it, it may take some time for you to believe it, but if God has promised it, it's true. Uh, uh, this last Sunday, we were guardians of the truth. The truth is that God wants to be in relationship with us. He wants to forgive. He wants us to take him up on this offer so that he could change our lives forever. 
So, so here's my question to you. What is keeping you from having a truly devoted, near relationship with God? I mean, most, of, most believers today, I just feel like they're always stiff-arming God because they have too much they'd rather do. What's keeping you from recognizing who God really is and just diving in and saying, God, whatever you want, I'll do it. Whatever it's going to take, show me and I want to offer it to you so that I can experience the full you. I don't want my guilty conscience anymore. I want to walk free from that. Are you afraid you'll miss out? Because it's not possible. Are, are you afraid he won't come through? Again, it's not possible. He invites us to come with full assurance that he can and he will wash us up and set us on a course, course to our new life in him. Hope that helps. Enjoy a great weekend.